Before our last story tonight, let me ask you a question. When you think about life on Mars, what do you picture? Maybe airborne sleeping pods or multi-level housing towers. But what do you think about underground colonies? We ask because scientists have discovered water on Mars. It is an underground reservoir, enough to fill an ocean that covers the entire planet. That is a lot of water, and this is good news. But the problem is, this water is too deep to tap. What does this mean for human life on Mars? Is the Martian underground habitable? Here is a report. Rugged and tan. No, we aren't talking about a rom-com hero. We're describing the crust of Mars. Yes, the planet that billionaires seem to be obsessed with. Zero, study the interior of Mars. But this is a good day to be a billionaire much like any other day, because scientists have finally done it. NASA has found water on Mars. They've discovered a reservoir of liquid water deep in the crust of the planet, enough to make up a whole ocean. Scientists say it's enough to cover the entirety of Mars, to a depth of 1.6 kilometers. How did NASA find this water? It's all thanks to an outer space robotic explorer, the InSight lander. It touched down on Mars in 2018. It studied Martian quakes or Mar quakes, as many as 1300 of them. It studied the seismic vibrations to understand how the red planet moves. This data has revealed the presence of underground water on Mars. Now, we know what you may be thinking. Didn't we already find water on Mars? Well, we did. In 2015, NASA found liquid salt water on Mars. But this latest discovery is significant because it indicates that there's a much larger amount of water on the planet which might make it possible for humans to inhabit it. But there is a catch here. The Martian water is playing hard to get. Why? Because it's trapped. It's trapped in tiny cracks and pores of rocks in the middle of the crust. So the liquid water is roughly um, 11 to 20 kilometers uh, beneath the subsurface. And getting that liquid water would be quite challenging. For example, on Earth, uh, you often have to circulate fluids, whether that be liquid water or mud, to make drilling a little bit easier. Just as on Earth, on Mars as well, humans will need drills and other equipment to use the water they will need power capabilities on the foreign planet. So they will either have to bring such high-level technology to Mars or make the technology on the planet. Either way, this will be challenging. But in all likelihood, scientists will try because humans need water to colonize Mars. That's the long-term priority. But for the time being, researchers have set their goals lower. Now that they've found the Martian water, they want to understand it, its contents, its purpose, and use this knowledge to find out more about the planet itself. The climate, surface and interior of Mars, and if there are habitable environments on Mars buried deep underground, and most importantly, the planet's evolution. Mars once looked like Earth. Uh, three billion years ago, and now it doesn't. It's dry and it's desolate. And so a big question is, where is the water? Where did it go? Humans can only hope that the scientists answer these questions. Because do you know what's cooler than living on Mars? Living in sci-fi Martian colonies that are underground. Across continents, one powerful news source. bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. 
It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative.